everyone welcome back to WS Cube in our today's session we will be learning about reading a file uh, before we start learning about reading a file let's have a small recap of what we have learned in our previous session so guys in our previous session we covered what is file handling file handling allows us to read write append to a file in this session so we will be discussing what is the reading mode in file so let's get started so to understand reading mode i'll be taking an example over here i'll be creating a file i will be basically creating a text file over here so i'll go to i'll right click over here choose file and maybe i'll give it a name as demo.txt okay when i create it it's a text file over here it's not a py file it's a text file I'll be using a text file basically. I'll be reading a text file. So inside it, I'm writing some data. So let's say I'll be adding a few movie names over here. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter, and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So guys, I'm adding three lines uh, over here. Now what I'm going to do in my main file, in my python file, I'm going to read this data. How I'm going to read this data? First of all, I'll be opening the file in the reading mode. Read the lines of the file and then we will close the file. So first of all, let's see how to open a file. So to open a file, there is a simple method over here. We can take a variable, we can take any name over here. So I'm taking a, a is equals to open because we are opening a file. That's why we are writing open over here. Now we will be writing the name of the file that is demo.txt. And I will be opening it in a reading mode. That's why I am adding R over here. This R here represents that the file is opened in a reading mode. Now what I need to do, I need to uh, read the lines over here. So I'll create a variable B over here. B is equals to A is the name of our variable which we have used to open a file dot read lines and open close the parentheses and close the file so for here closing the file i'll be writing a dot close open close the parentheses so guys if i run this nothing will happen because why because it has readed the file but we have not printed those lines over here for that we can write print b and now if i run it you will see that all the data which was there inside our file is now over here our first line, Harry Potter, our second line, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and our third line, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, is over here. So this is how read lines method work over here. At the same time, suppose if you want to read only one line, for that all we can do is write a b is equals to a dot read line, and if I run it, I only get the first line. Similarly, if you want to get the second line also over here, there is one simple method. Just simply write print a dot read line. Open close the parentheses and print a dot read line. Open close the parentheses. If I run it, I'll get the two lines over here. So we have two lines. Similarly, if you might have noticed when we re when we use a dot read lines, it was giving us lines in a format of a paragraph. Like it's it, even even though it was three different lines in our file, it was writing it in a whole one line, maybe in a form of a paragraph, right? And so if you want to write it in a different line, all you can do is use a for loop over here. So how a for loop can be used for x in a colon print x. So now if I run it, you will see I get all the three lines in a three different lines instead of a paragraph over here. So this is how our reading lines method work. Suppose if you want to read a few uh, elements or let's say a few characters of a file, all you can do is write over here, print a dot read, not read line, but just read. And inside the read, you can write the number of characters to which you want to read it. Suppose I want to read it up to five characters. And if I run it, I only get Harry over here because Harry over here has five characters. So in this way, you can read a, uh, with a number of characters also from a file. So guys, this was about the reading method. This was about the read method, basically. This was the read mode. And we learned read lines uh, where we can read multiple lines in one single line. First, we learned read lines where we can read uh, all the lines from a file in, for, in, in a form of a paragraph. Second, we learned read line where we can read one line at a time. Third, we learned a for loop with the for help of a for loop. We can read all the lines from our file and print it over here in Python into different lines. And fourth, we learned was a dot read method. So dot re, uh, read method allows us to read a uh, number of characters, number, number of specified characters that we want to read from a file. So I hope guys what is read mode is clear to you. In our next session, we will be discussing about the writing mode in files where we will be writing inside the files. 
So stay connected guys and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.